what's the competition? We gain the competition. We need some competition. Y'all ain't no competition. Yo, where's the competition? We gon' the competition. We need some competition. Y'all ain't no competition. It's time to ball. Yes, y'all, it's time to ball. What's good, fellow YouTube community? It's your boy here, the powerlifting paramedic. Um, it's 8.05 here in Colorado. About to start my meal prep for tomorrow. And I thought I would go on a little rant on something that was passed just recently, in fact, on Thursday, by the House of Representatives. Um, the House of Representative H.R. 4771, which is the uh, Designer Anabolic Steroid Control Act of 2014, was just passed, which means it will be heading up to the desk of President Obama to be signed if he so chooses, which I'm pretty sure he will. Um, the original Anabolic Steroid Control Act was back in 1990. President Bush put it in place, um, basically enforcing anabolic steroids, synthetic anabolic steroids. Um, what this act basically does is expand the list of uh, drugs that will be considered illegal. Um, this list is about two dozen. I'm not going to get into what they are, what compounds they are, but basically this is going to relate to pro-hormones, which are right now currently legal, can be bought at supplement stores online or in your local community. Pro-hormones basically are oral steroids. They are compounds that are, when in the body, convert to a hormone that has anabolic effects exactly the same as synthetic anabolic steroids. The difference is they are taken orally versus injected directly into the bloodstream. What really pisses me off is Number one, they should not, the government should not be involved in regulating steroids, in my honest opinion. Um, they will not get involved, the FDA will not get involved in the supplement market. They've made this very clear. So anybody can market anything they want to. They can take a capsule, fill it with sugar, make any claims they want, and charge whatever they want, and you can be scammed. There are a lot of unhealthy products that are sold freely in the supplement market at your local GNCs, vitamin shop, etc. But the government will not go in and regulate these products, yet they feel it is necessary to regulate anabolic steroids, which basically fall kind of in the similar category. There is the one good thing about this act. Um, basically, it's going to make it illegal for supplement companies to market a product as an anabolic, as a steroid, when it is in fact not. Something similar to herbs or natural substances that aren't in fact synthetic chemical compounds that form hormones that have anabolic effects. The big issue is pro-hormones, which are widely used because they are legal. There are arguments on whether or not they are safer. Um, they do have the same side effects. We're not really gonna get into the argument of are steroids harmful or not. We do know there are side effects. We do not know long-term effects of steroids. They have not done studies. They will never do studies on the long-term effects. It is gonna be almost impossible to determine if steroids actually kill, don't kill, cause harmful long-term side effects. Um, there's a great movie, Bigger, Stronger, Faster, directed by Chris Bell, which is an amazing documentary, goes all into steroids, anything you've ever wanted to know, pretty much is in that documentary. This just kind of upsets me. We have a lot of bigger issues here in the country, especially when you talk about regulating drugs. Um, prescription medication abuse, painkillers, all kinds of drug prescription abuse, alcohol. More people die from alcohol-related deaths and pain prescription pill-related deaths than ever with steroids. So why are we regulating? Why are we taking away something that helps people, helps put on muscle, helps build strength, helps speed recovery? Why? Why are we going in and taking this away from people? Seriously. 
if we're going to regulate this and we're going to do this, let's regulate the entire supplement market. Let's go in and let's regulate. Let's get the FDA involved and regulate everything from protein powders to fat burners. I mean, seriously, this is stupid. This is really dumb in my honest opinion, but it did pass by a bunch of congressional members. Do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift? I don't think they lift. I don't think they know a damn thing about the health and fitness industry, not including the doctors they probably hired or the lobbyists got involved to help this. It's just stupid. They're saying roughly two to five billion dollars annually are spent on these products, on these pro-hormone type compounds by the consumer market. That's a lot of money. People are buying and using these things. And guess what? You are taking that away from people. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see if this actually gets signed. We'll see if these supplement companies stop producing these. What may happen is maybe they'll just change the labeling. Maybe they'll change, you know, the compounds won't change, but the labeling will change. Who knows? There's going to be ways around it. There's ways around getting steroids now. Haven't they figured that out yet? There is the black market. There is Mexico. There is Europe. Other countries, steroids are legal. Why? Why not, bro? They should be legal. And you need to stay out of our damn business and let us do what we want. You want to regulate these things in the international sports federations, pro sports, whatever the case may be, fine, do it. I don't care. But guess what? Stop regulating what we want and what we don't want to put in our bodies. We're all adults. We can educate ourselves. We can figure out. I want to do steroids. I want to take a supplement or do anything I want. Let me do it. If I want to smoke, let me smoke. If I get lung cancer, so be it. I don't smoke, but that is the situation. If I want to drink, let me drink. If I go out and do something stupid and die or kill somebody else, that's what happens. It sucks. I don't agree with it, but it happens. You let people make those choices. Let us make this choice. Seriously. So that's basically it. I'm going to stop my ranting. Um, if you're interested, you can look up the bill. It is the House of Representatives 4771. It is the Designer Anabolic Steroid Control Act of 2014. Uh, basically, just a revision. It added about 25 more drugs to this list, which will now be illegal as early as January 2015. Um, who knows what else they're going to take away from us. Um, but maybe that's for another video. I'm going to go ahead and start my meal prep for tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys are also meal prepping. And I will see you guys on another day. Catch you later.